Hi, welcome in Project Management Simplified. Uh, today we're gonna have a question about the approximate estimating. Uh, the question says that uh, calculate the approximate running meters rate for a boundary wall. The dimensions are 980 meters. This is the length of the wall and 2.4, which is the height. According to the cost of the following elements. So the boundary wall is consisted of different elements. Each of, uh, each of these elements has its own price or cost. And uh, these are arbitrary numbers, by the way. And uh, first of all, the excavation is 1,000. Foundation, 2,000. Brickwork, 3,000. Waterproof, 1,000. And plastering, 2,000. And the paint, finally, 3,000. Then find the estimated cost for a new wall, another wall we want to construct. 760 meter length, the height of the wall, two meters, which will be constructed after three years from now at the same locality in the inflation, if the inflation is 4%. So we can see here that this question is, is uh, consisted of two parts. So we're gonna solve the first part first, then we're gonna go for the second part because the second part is dependent on the solution or the right solution for the first uh, part. So first of all, the question is asking me to find the approximate estimate per running meter. The most important thing is that you need to concentrate on the request of the question. He's asking you or she asking you uh, to find the rate or the cost per running meter per running meter and he's giving you the components of the wall these are the components of the wall so this is the foundation this is your wall okay and he gave you the dimensions of the wall but be careful he's giving you the height and width so do we need the height uh, sorry, do we, we have the length and we have the height. So do we need the height for now? He's asking the running meter. So we will not use for for now, we will not use the 2.4 meters because we don't want to have the square meters of the wall because we want the running meter. All in all, he's having this wall is 2.4 height and the length of the wall is 980 so excavation for this wall the excavation cost 1000 the foundation 2000 the brickwork 3000 the waterproofing uh, 1000 the plastering 2000 and then the paint is uh, 3000 so what will we do we need to find out the total cost of this wall which is 980 meter length and 2.4 meter height whatever the, the 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 thing is like if it's square meters or running meter this boundary wall costs me costs me this much how we know that we have the components and each components uh, cost is available so we will find the, out the total cost the excavation 1000 2000 <coughs> For the foundation, the brickwork 3000, and the waterproof 1000, and the plastering 2000, and the paint finally, the paint is 3000, <coughs> that equals um, 12,000. Okay, so 12,000 is the total cost of the building, uh, of the boundary wall. Now what we want to do is, want, uh, is to find the cost per running meter, per running meter. So we have the 12,000 here, <clears throat> we can divide it by the length. So this is why when I was saying that we don't need to have the square meters, how many square meters this wall consists of, because we have, we are, the question is asking you to find the rate per, per running meter. So you just need the 980 square meter, 80 running meters. You will divide this one and it will be the calculation to 12, 
244. So this is <clears throat> by this is let's say dollars per meter running meter. So this is the cost. So the first uh, requirement we have found it the first requirement which is the running meter rate is 12.244 dollars per square per running meter for example now what he wants he wants us to find the estimated cost for a new wall and the dimensions of the new wall are 760 into 2 which will be constructed after three years so we have we have the if we want to find the future cost <coughs> we have this formula the cost into one plus inflation rate to the power of the number of the years so the future cost or present cost into one plus inflation rate to, to the power of number of years required in this question we have the inflation rate we have the years, three years he's asking, and the cost, and we want to find out the future cost of this wall and the present cost we need it. So what we will do right now is to find how many square meters that we have, how many square meters that we have in the previous wall. So 980 into 2.4, <coughs> the height of the wall it will be 2352 square meters okay so now what we want to do is to find out the rate per square meter because why we want to change why we want to use now why we want to use the square meters because the new wall dimensions are different it's not the same height here the height is 2.4, here the height is, two, uh, sorry, 2 meters, here the height is 2.4, so there is a difference in height. If, there, if the, the height were the sa same in the, uh, this wall and the future wall, after 3 years that we want to build, then we'll, we will only depend on the running meters. But since we have difference in height, so we need to go back to the uh, to to something uh, to a reference between these two walls now we cannot use the running meters here as a reference for the future wall because the future wall is uh, lower than the first one it's two meters and this one is 2.3 2.4 meters so now let's go back for the square meters as a reference so the the square meters or the area of the previous wall is like that and now we can go for the uh, formula that we have. <clears throat> now the 12,000 divided by 2352, we will have 5.102 per square meter. Let's say dollars per square meter. So this is the rate per square meter. It is not uh, required. It is required running meters before, but now we want to we want to find out the rate per square meter because we have this difference that we talked about between these two walls now we can put the estimated cost for the new wall according to the formula that we have the future cost this one will be 5.12102 1 plus 0.04 oh to the power of 3 it will equal uh, 5 7 3 dollars okay so this is the rate per square meter this is the rate per square meter for the new wall so now the new wall cost will be The area of the wall first, 1520 square meter. This is the area of the new wall. So we can we have the rate for this wall per square meter, 1520 into 
5.73, this is the rate per square meter after three years per square meter, which is after three years. Now we have like 709.6. This is the cost of the wall will be constructed after three years. So this is the solution or this is the solution of our exercise for today. I hope that you understood the, understood the, the process and the procedure of this question. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next, uh, in the next uh, videos inshallah.